afternoon, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and uh, yes, we had quite the rainstorm last night, and I didn't even know it was happening. I guess it happened after I fell asleep. Um, but uh, my garden got uh, a very good soaking. I did uh, stop by there today to determine whether or not it needed watering, and it was very, very wet, very healthy, and I was able just to walk away today and leave it alone. I think I heard that the storm was a little bit unkind to some other neighborhoods. Ours was fine. It just got a really good soaking, thankfully. But some other areas did get tornadoes touched down. And more than one, I have not uh, taken the time yet to determine how much damage there was. But uh, I'm sure with the number of tornadoes touching down that there would have been some damage. Fortunately, it just gave us the needed rainfall. And as I had gone specifically to the garden to water it because it had been so dry lately and found that it uh, was good and soaked and didn't need any attention from me, I left there. I just uh, took a quick peek at everything, made sure everything was fine. I think the bunnies are still eating my beans though. Uh, I may have to get something a little bit more bunny resistant than what I do have, but we'll see if what I can conjure up there or buy from the hardware store actually so um, yeah then to the, after I left the garden I was able to do a few more chores and uh, then I came home and I decided that I have to fill some of those jars I have to spend some time doing that because I got a lot of jars to fill and one of the things that I needed to do was can up some kidney beans uh, the other day uh, Mark wanted to make three cold three bean salad, which we have on occasion. And one of the beans that he likes to uh, mix up with his three bean salad or four bean salad, whatever the case may be, is uh, kidney beans. And uh, it turns out that I had to hunt for them and I was on my last jar of kidney beans. So definitely that is the job ahead of me for today. And uh, hope you join me. Okay, so I've got my jar of kidney beans here, and I guess the first thing we want to determine is how many uh, jars of beans that I want to mix up, and that will determine how many beans I soak from this jar. And actually, all I'm going to do is wash them. Uh, I do what is called dry canning of the beans, but I do wash them beforehand. So. Now this jar was vacuum sealed and there I just opened it. So the idea is uh, to wash them. I want to wash these before I dry can them. Uh, I don't just strictly put them in the can or dry. I do wash them first. So I have to determine approximately how many jars I want to make and I'm going to say a dozen. So. I want a half a cup per pint jar. So we're talking 12 half cups or 6 full cups of beans. And just to make the jar job go quicker, I'm going to use a full cup and pour it into my bowl here. So we want 6 of these. Oh, cool. So that's basically this jar, <laughs> which is good to see. So I will wash them. That will also cause them to swell and probably any bad ones to come to the surface to float, which is fine, like the ones that are split. Um, if you want to remove them, any stones you can look out for, but mainly it is just to wash them. And as I said, even doing this will cause some of the beans to swell, so you can't just say half a cup 
per jar because they will be more than that. So I'm going to get a dozen jars here because I have measured out what I do want and then I will just fill each one uh, equally. Okay, so I have uh, pulled out 12 jars. I have washed and rinsed my beans and I'm actually ready at this point just to put them in the jars. This is a, a fairly quick process. It, it's not very time consuming at all. And they, I haven't really waited for them to swell so I'm definitely just going to uh, start with half a cup per jar and then we'll see what we have left over to disperse amongst each other one equally, or I just may get another jar, because I certainly have not waited for these to swell. And I don't like my beans, my jars of beans, so full of beans and no liquid. Uh, I like them to have a little bit of liquid. Done. So the only thing I'm going to add to these is a teaspoon of salt to each one. Sorry, half a teaspoon of salt, I believe. I don't really want to go overboard on the salt. And we're done with the salt. The only thing I'm going to add now is water. And I do have my canner on the stove. I have three quarts of water in my canner because that is the recommendation from the manufacturer. So I start with three quarts of water. And the fact that I have more than one layer of jars to go in, I do have a, the uh, plate that comes with the canner uh, on the bottom, and I have this other steamer plate that I just bought locally because I only paid two dollars or three dollars for that steamer plate, and it works just as well uh, as the one that came with the canner to separate the jars for the second layer. So at this point all I have to do is add some water and I'm going to do that right now. Okay, a couple of things now. First thing I want to do is uh, debubble. And I have poured hot water into all these jars and I have hot water in the canner. So if you were going to go cold water in the jars you would want to go cold water in the canner. So I'm just stirring these up right now to make sure that there's no trapped air and to determine if I need to top up the water at all after you do that. Okay. And I have left one inch headspace in each jar. So there was one that was just a little too full and I poured some out and I see a couple that need just a tad more water. So, if you, I, I pretty much eyeball this now, I've been doing this long enough that I do that, but if you need to measure it, there are tools to measure where the one inch is so that you get the perfect one inch headspace. Next item on the agenda, of course, is to clean our rims. So I've got my vinegar and any leftover vinegar will go directly into my canner so I'm not too concerned about that. So clean the rims. Although I really don't expect an issue here because all we've got is dry beans and water 
You still want to make sure there's no dust from the dry beans. Even though they weren't really dry, they were washed. It's still good practice just to get into the habit of cleaning your rooms even when you may not feel that it's absolutely necessary. As I do in this case, I don't really feel it's absolutely necessary. But, best to get into good habits. Okay, and the rest of the vinegar goes directly in my canner. And it doesn't need much. Next in line is to put a lid on each one of these. And you want to try not to touch the rims on your lids either. And I do have them sitting in hot water here. I didn't boil them, but I do have them sitting in hot water just to dust and clean them more than anything else. Last process is... Here, I lost one there. Okay. Finger tight. Then directly into the canner. That should stock up my kidney bean stash to an appropriate level. Now I can fit only nine pint jars in my canner. If you are actually using bowl jars, you can fit ten. And the reason is that the Canadian Bernardin product is just a hair larger than the bowl jars. It's 500 mil as opposed to, I don't know what the size is in mil for a pint but it is just, just slightly larger. Okay, so I'm going to put, although I could put nine at the bottom, I'm going to put eight, put my tray in, and put the other four on top. Okay, same process as always, so I've got my 12 jars in the canner. I'm going to put my lid on the canner now. And let's see. Yes, I do position this the other way. There are markings and arrows that tell you which way the lid goes on, and after a while you realize that it's not that difficult. Now, okay, it's locked in place, and I'm just going to wait for this uh, air valve to pop up, which tells me that um, it's air locked and I could start my countdown on venting the system, but only after this little... Uh, this little item here has popped up. It means it's locked in. Okay. Okay. So, at that point, we process pint jars at 10 pounds pressure from my altitude, which is below 1,000 feet, for 75 minutes. And for <coughs> quart jars, it would be an hour and a half. So, an hour and 15 for pints, an hour and a half for quarts. And then we're done. <laughs> okay, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Uh, quick and easy. Um, 
dry canning of beans and you can use this process for any dry bean. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you on the next one.